Welcome to the ninth podcast. In today's podcast, I'm gonna talk about power of visualization. And of course, we are continuing the journey. It's day 15. We are halfway, at least from this challenge. And I've been working for the past two hours. I finished first thing that I had, the most important for now. And now we're gonna summarize how was the half of the challenge. Could be for tomorrow, but I'm gonna talk a little bit today and how the power of visualization actually helped me and how I'm building new habits future habits that are helping me and they are simply upgrading myself grading me yes so visualization strictly involves creating mental images in your mind images that you want to connect with positive feelings that's in the best case scenario to connect them with the positive attitude positive mindset positive experience and only through this experience you will start to experience again the good feeling and it will bring you to a place in which you are in the zone in the successful zone and it will build you will build your whole character so be sure to collect those positive experiences when you have them and always to stay somehow in them it's easier if you had those positive experiences in your past simply to kind of live in them at least from the in the beginning until you learn yourself to and exist in this manner in this positive attitude and character because only by and through this you'll be able to gain the the confidence to achieve even more because you already will have the confidence and the power and the positive experience of course always be sure and make sure that you are ready for the unknown because the future is unknown but future actually doesn't matter if you are existing right now and you are doing and feeling this positive attitude this positive experience that means that you are building positive future and that's how to build your own future by visualization and positive experience positive simple things they have to overcome be sure like at least most of your day to be filled with positive things and if you do it long enough your whole life will turn around in a positive manner so is there any science behind the visualization let's say let's talk a little bit about it your brain is electromagnetic electromagnetic he is creating uh, magnetism waves and he is corresponding with 
everything around you, all the better that you don't see. And he is designing the matter. He is somehow connected with everything, with the whole universe. That's why you have to take advantage of it and to at least know that you have that amount of power. Then just influence the whole <laughs> matter, create your own life. As you know, your brain influences your body fully right and all around if your body is feeling sick your brain will feel and will make you feel only let's say bad things or at least pain so you have to make them align to keep them aligned and to be sure that they are in a positive experience levels all the time. Some techniques for effective visualization could be, I already talked in a different videos, you can check them, but something like the journal that I've been talking about, you have to clear your mind. The effective visualization is when your mind is empty and only your consciousness and subconsciousness are working your imagination so you can even play some affirmations from a video or guided imagery or something like that affirmations that will help you to generate positive thoughts you can use vision boards, you can do so many things, you should focus on that because this will build your character and will change your life. Then be sure to censor your emotions, to somehow know and to understand how impactful actually are all of those things that you are doing right now they have impact over your own life and your life have impact on the whole universe yes it does that's why you want to be aligned with the positive man and the universe will be positive with you uh, the most important part, in, part is to do that daily. Like all the things I've been talking about, probably I'm repeating myself a lot of times, but they are so connected and they are so important that you have to manage to do it if you want a real change. So when to take advantage of the visualization all the time it's most ben beneficial when your brain is empty your imagination is working your thoughts are creating the matter in the universe that's when is the best but of course you have to practice even when you are exhausted when you're overwhelmed, you, when you cannot even stay awake, do it in those times because you have to harden your brain to make it stronger. It's a muscle. The imagination is a muscle also. And you have to practice it daily. You have to grind. Nobody will save your life. You have to save your own life. So you can put the visualizations in a morning ritual. 
evening ritual, night ritual, whatever, in a meditation, before important tasks, events, and so on. But be sure to have that daily routine that you do regular, regularly, every single day. Also track, track the progress, reflect how your visualization is helping your goals, helping you move closer to your goals and actually building your future. Hmm. I believe you can do that. Uh, in the end of this video, this podcast, let's talk a little bit how was the previous 15 days. I'm surprised of myself, not that surprised because I've been in this state many times but I don't want to get out <laughs> from this state and I have to manage to stay and I will, whatever it takes me, I will do it, whatever it takes and will keep the grind going because this is my life now and I'm loving it and I would like to be my life for a long period also right now I'm doing hard work daily routine and whatever without any benefit I have I mean financially benefit and I have a lot of things to pay a lot of probably I never had that big that much of that many bills and monthly expenses I had some a couple of times but I've been in a different situation I was working and I was earning this money I just was spending them right now I had and the same expenses and I don't earn anything I earn just on paper by now <laughs> let's say and it's fully do but in the coming days I have to build something and this something will help me and I have to make it work and I will so Today, day 15, we are continuing the grind. I'm happy that you're here with me. Thank you for everything and have a good one.